carotid femoral pulse wave velocity is considered the gold standard for assessing arterial stiffness. It has been shown to be an independent predictor of both all-cause and cardiovascular mortality and morbidity. According to guidelines from the European Society of Hypertension, a value above 12 meters per second is an indicator for target organ damage. In addition to assessing the effect of arterial stiffness on hypertension, pulse wave velocity is used as a risk predictor in diabetes, stroke, and renal disease, and in pulmonary and inflammatory diseases, as well as cardiovascular disease. To set up this Figma Core Excel system, connect the computer and the Excel unit to a power source. Connect the device via the USB cable to a computer where the Sphygma Core software is installed. Connect the tonometer to the Sphygma Core Excel device. Connect the cuff to the cuff tubing, making sure that the connection is secure. Connect the cuff tubing to the Sphygma Core Excel device. Select PWV mode and enter the patient data. During a pulse wave velocity measurement, the patient should be supine and have been resting for at least five minutes before the measurement is taken. Place the thin blue femoral cuff as high as possible around the patient's thigh over thin clothing only, and make sure the cuff is straight. The tubing on the cuff should be on the top of the patient's leg and pointing towards the patient's head. Distances can be entered in one of two modes. Using the direct measurement mode, the distance is measured directly from the point of the strongest carotid pulse to the top of the femoral cuff. This value is entered in the box marked carotid to cuff. The system default distance from the femoral artery to the edge of the cuff is 200 millimeters. The actual distance from the femoral artery to the edge of the cuff should be measured for each patient and entered into the system. If the subtraction method is selected, the distance must be measured from the point of the strongest carotid pulse to the sternal notch. Palpate the carotid artery to identify the strongest pulse point. Measure the distance in a straight line from this point to the sternal notch. Enter the value in the box marked carotid to sternal notch. Take a second measurement from the sternal notch to the top of the femoral cuff. Enter the value in the box marked sternal notch to cuff. The system default distance from the femoral artery to the edge of the cuff is 200 millimeters. The actual distance from the femoral artery to the edge of the cuff should be measured for each patient and entered into the system. Return to the point on the carotid artery used when measuring distance, the strongest pulse point. Remove any pillows and place the tonometer on the carotid artery on the strongest pulse point, keeping your arm stable. The ligaments in the patient's neck help to stabilize the artery so a high-quality waveform can be obtained. Once the tonometer is pressed against the carotid artery, a waveform will appear on the Sphygma Core Excel screen. If auto capture is enabled, the Excel system will automatically inflate the femoral cuff and capture both the femoral and carotid waveforms after 10 seconds of quality waveforms have been measured at each site. If auto capture has not been enabled, Press the Capture button at the bottom right of the screen once the carotid and femoral waveforms have both turned green. To deflate the cuff at any time during measurement, simply click the Cancel button at the bottom right of the screen or use the button on the top of the Sphygma Core Excel device. Measurement results appear on the Sphygma Core Excel Pulse Wave Velocity Report screen. The patient's pulse wave velocity in meters per second will be displayed along with a graph comparing their measurement with healthy population data. If the patient's height and brachial blood pressure are entered, the patient's pulse wave velocity can also be compared with European general population reference values. The quality control screen informs the operator whether an acceptable measurement has been performed. 
If a green check appears in the quality control box, the measurement is acceptable. If a red cross appears on the screen, the measurement should be repeated. To repeat the measurement, simply click on Repeat at the bottom right corner of the screen. Once an acceptable report has been obtained, the measurement is complete and the cuff can be removed.